Ouch. This pinched the hell out of me. What is going on everyone? I am Just That Officer and welcome to the channel. So in today's video, we're gonna be talking about this bleed control kit and why bleed control kits are so important. So why do we need bleed control kits? Well, we need to be prepared, right? We hope nothing ever happens. It'd be great if nothing ever happens. But if something happens, you wanna be prepared. So I suggest keeping a bleed control kit, some type, you don't have to have this one, um, just some type of bleed control kit. We'll talk about a couple different ones in this video. Um, but some some kind of kit together, at least a tourniquet. All right, you should at least carry a tourniquet with you pretty much anywhere you go. So we're gonna open up this one. Uh, this is from Sam Medical. Uh, but we'll open up, check out the contents that are inside of it. Uh, it's the same contents that are in most other medical kits. But uh, I never heard of some medical until they, uh, until this was handed to me by a family member of mine who's in the medical field. I uh, was able to get me a couple of these so I could check them out. But yeah, so I'm, uh, I'm really curious as to how the tourniquet is inside this thing because it is a Sam Medical tourniquet itself. So let's just go ahead and open this up and check it out. We're off to a great start. You guys see in there. But all right, as soon as you open the bag, you got your gloves, tourniquet, all right, in a plastic wrap. I'll talk about that in a second. Uh, you know, your shears. So you wanna make sure that you uh, cut the clothing away when this happens, right? Because why? We wanna make sure that there's no other puncture wounds or any other wounds that we need to address. And we want to make sure that the, all the obstacles are out of the way of us tightening down that tourniquet. All right, so if keep going through. You have an instruction, a little instruction manual. So pretty simple instructions there, but in a panic, it's kind of nice to have instructions, especially for anybody who's never had any kind of experience with this. Thing. Emergency bandage, okay. So this is a bandage that tightens, tighten down real tight. And then it has like a little hook in there. Um, so it hooks it, keeps it tight on there, uh, so it doesn't come loose. Right, what else we got here? Oh, you got a marker. Okay, why do we have a marker in this? All right, because you need to jot down the time that you put this on. All right, so they have supply a marker with you. So time you applied the tourniquet uh, helps the doctors once you get to the actual hospital. Kind of helps them give an idea of how long that's been on there. Uh, so they can address that. Just just so you guys know, no way, shape, or form am I a medical expert whatsoever. I am just a police officer who's had some experience with, you know, stop the blade classes and so forth, kind of showing me how to use this stuff. But I'm no medical expert. Cool, thanks. All right, so compressed gauze, okay? Compressed gauze, this is airtight. Once you open it up, it's obviously gonna expand a lot more. Um, but this is one of those things where you want to pack the wounds, uh, get to that bleed and stop that bleed and pack, 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 pack. Keep packing until you run out and then pack some more. But yeah, so everything you need is in here, but we're going to talk about why it's important to take this stuff out of the bag. Now it's nice that this stuff's all in there. It's nice and wrapped up. This you want to keep secure. This as well you want to keep secure. But this tourniquet, you want to open this up. All right, you don't want to be fumbling with this when shit's happening, right? When this, when this, everything's going down, somebody's bleeding, you got blood on your hands or your gloves, and this is going to be all slippery. You're going to be trying to open this thing up, and that's precious time that you need. So I suggest opening up your bleed control kit and opening up this tourniquet. Is it ready to go? Let's see. So. If I needed to put this on myself, it actually is ready to go. Huh, check that out. Okay, so not bad, Sam Medical. Not bad, I'll give it to you, because that was fairly quick. But like I said, I would not want to be messing with the plastic that's in there, but they did prep it for you. So that is pretty cool. Now I've never seen Sam Medical before, but I have to say that this looks pretty well built. It looks pretty sturdy. Uh, you can see it tighten up here. As soon as you start twisting this, you see how it pulls in, tightens up. So that's pretty nice. Another thing I noticed is that it's prepped this way. Usually when you get other tourniquets new out of the package, 
the North American Rescue, it comes like that. All right, it doesn't come prepped. Because that's another thing you don't want to be messing with when you're trying to put this on. You go to put it on, and then this is over. And you're trying to twist, and then you need to go lock it. And now you're trying to, you know, you only have one hand, and you're trying to mess with this, and move this out of the way so you can lock the windlass in place. Yeah, you don't, see, look how much it's just, I'll have two hands here and I'm messing with it and it's just a headache. So yeah, I will give it to you, Sam Medical. That was, um, for coming out of the package, it's prepped, it's ready to go. The windlass is a like aluminum, some type of metal material, uh, so it's strong, it's not gonna bend or flex or anything like that. Um, yeah, so they would have definitely uh, considered everything when you're just opening up out of the package. So pretty decent for that. All right, so I noticed something uh, kind of cool about this tourniquet. So I was wondering what this big thing was on the end here. I thought it was just a big chunk of plastic, but I noticed this said lift tab to release. As soon as you pull this tight, see if I can get it to do it for you, but as soon as you get it tight enough, you should hear that audible click and that locks it in place. But see the two nubs that come out? So there's two plastic nubs that come out and lock that tourniquet in place. So that gives you a little bit extra security than just having the Velcro. Now that being said, they could break. You know, these little tabs are plastic. Um, there's this possibility of them breaking, but I think with the extra security of the Velcro, it'll probably be enough friction and ten uh, to hold under tension uh, to work still. But I think that's a really good thing. Uh, I think this tourniquet's aimed more towards people who don't often uh, training with tourniquets and so forth. So the average citizen and having that audible click is is really good uh, I like that. So that tells you that you have the tourniquet tight enough and then you can switch to Spinning the windlass at that point. So you want to make sure it's tight get that audible click Then you can start tightening the windlass down as tight as you can Till the bleeding stops now say you're doing this for training purposes like I was and your two little nubs are still there. Well, you can push this tab. You just lift the tab up and they are now back in there. All right, so you could use it again. Let me show you quick how to prep this tourniquet. It's pretty much the same as any other tourniquet, uh, but you want to pull this out. This is the way I like to do it. Some people like to do it like six inches out, put it on, pull this straight. All right, I hope you guys can see that. Pull it straight, and then you can fold it around like that, all right? And that's fine, that'll work. Why do we do it like that? Because if you need to one arm apply, you can, right? Pull that out, find the tab. And that's another thing I have to say is the tab on this is gray makes it very difficult to find. So I think Sam Medical, you should make this like orange, like the rest of the tourniquet or red. I think that's why most of them are red, so they're easier to find. Uh, but having a gray that makes it a little more difficult. But yeah, then you can just pull it, get it tight, get that audible click. So one hand application is how you always wanna have your tourniquets prepped. Now, so if you need to do a two hand application, you can just I'll do it, pull it through to get it under somebody's leg, so you get a large leg to get it under, you can do that by just pulling it out. But you wanna make sure at first that you're thinking about your self, uh, self application, and then from there, it's a lot easier to go to other applications. So what I like to do is I like to make this as tight as to this as I can. So I'll put it just a couple inches away, right? Reason I do that is now you have a bigger opening. So if you need to put on a bigger leg or your full leg, and it's easier to get around your boots and everything like that, it just gives yourself a little bit more space. All right, so then straighten it out and you can fold it over and secure it like that, All right? So another downfall of this tourniquet is I do not believe with this mechanism, I said that funny, but with this mechanism that it's going to fit in a tourniquet holder. So yeah, this is like typical duty carry holster for your tourniquet. Now, problem with this is having that big plastic piece, there's no way that this is going to fit 
All right guys, so this bleed control kit runs for about $52, uh, $50 on Amazon. Um, I will link all of these down below. So this is the Sam Medical Kit that I just opened. Uh, there's a couple other one. This one is from uh, Stop the Bleed. Now this company comes out to several locations. They come out to us at our department and teach us how to stop the bleed. So this one will run $59.49. It's a little bit more expensive. Not by much, uh, but what I'll say is the plus in this one is that you get all the same stuff, but you get an actual uh, cat tourniquet in this one. So it looks like you get an actual North American Rescue tourniquet, which alone is like a $30, $35 tourniquet. All right guys, so this is the North American Rescue uh, version of their bleed control kit. And it comes with everything that was found in the one we just reviewed. So if you get the official North American Rescue cat tourniquet here uh, in orange, and you get a survival blanket. I think those are the only real differences uh, that come in this kit. So you get the bandages, the gauze. I think you actually get two gauze uh, in this one. Yeah, so quantity two. So everything you need and a little bit more than this kit comes with, but you're paying a little bit more, so you're paying $64.99. So those are a few options uh, that are out there. If I had to choose, if I was going to the market myself, would I choose this Sam Medical Kit? I think it's a good option. I, I think it is definitely a good option. Me personally, I'd probably spend a little bit more money and go with the North American Rescue Kit, just because it's North American Rescue, it's been around longer, I've just heard about Sam Medical. I've never heard of it before. Um, I'm not doubting them. I'm not saying that they have not performed or anything like that. And if somebody from Sam Medical ends up watching this and you want to send me some facts or some incidents that happened, I'd be glad to throw up another video and share those with everybody. Uh, but I would probably just go with the uh, North American Rescue Kit. But you know, if you know somebody has uh, Sam Medical or you're able to get your hands on it. I uh, don't think there's any issue with you having that kit. All right, guys, I will leave links to all of these medical kits down below in the comments section so you can go pick yourself up one if you're interested. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please leave them down in the comments section below, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.